Welcome to Cash TV and happy holidays. We're super excited to show you our Christmas table decoration ideas. We hope you love it and let's get right into the video. This one's gonna be a snowflake themed table decor. We're gonna start placing the water beads inside each jar. I'll be putting one teaspoon of the water beads inside the smaller jars and two teaspoons of the water beads inside the larger jars. Now it's time to add the water and I pour it halfway up for each jar. We're gonna wait five to six hours for the water beads to expand. I know it's a little long, but maybe go do some errands and the time will fly by. All right, so it's five hours later and wow, look how large the water beads are. So I separated the snowflakes I'll be using for each jar and the snowflakes I'll be using to hang on top. Now I'm going to take a bowl and dump most of the water beads inside so we can start placing the snowflakes inside. Make sure you keep a few water beads at the bottom of the jar. You're going to place your first snowflake inside and add two to three handfuls of water beads inside. Add your second snowflake and you're going to do the same thing. Add more water beads inside and a third one, and so on. Since it's a tall jar, I added four snowflakes, but you could definitely add more. You could add even gems inside, so much more things, but I just want to keep it really simple and just have snowflakes inside. Time to pour water and let's see how the results are. Wow, look how clear this looks. I'm in love with it. For my largest jar, I added five snowflakes and I'm just going to pour the water and do the exact same thing I did for the last one. And for the smaller one, I added three snowflakes and I added the water and it looks amazing. Look how all three just complement each other. I cut seven different lengths of the clear string so each snowflake is going to have a different height. I'm just going to hot glue just at the tip of the snowflake and add the clear string to it. The snowflakes are actually Christmas ornaments and they are so light so it's perfect to hang either from your ceiling or from your chandelier. And there you go folks, it's already dry and ready to hang. Now for the larger one, we are just going to do a longer strip of the hot glue and then place the clear string right on top. And just continue doing the exact same thing for all the other snowflakes. I'll be hanging the snowflakes from the chandelier so I just want to get an idea how high I would want them to be. I'll be using a transparent tape just to stick them on to the chandelier. I'm taping my first snowflake to the chandelier and it's great that the tape is transparent because you don't see it at all. I'm not cutting the leftover string yet, just in case I have to change the height of the snowflakes. I'm on my last snowflake and now it's time to cut the leftover string. Since it's a snowflake theme, we can't not have any snow. So I have a fake snow I'm just going to place all around the jars just to complete the look. Just to add a little something, I'm adding these large snowflakes decoration as placemats and it's going to look so cute when you add your plates on top. Now I'm lightly placing the candle at the top of the jar and then it's time to light them up. And guess what? We are all done. Look how amazing this all came together. I love this snowflake theme. I definitely want to do this for Christmas. All right, get your scissors out, your white glue and crazy glue. If you have hot glue, that would be super useful as well. I find these cool boxes at the dollar store. Uh, get yourself some ornaments, choose a color, go with a theme. I got some diamonds and some fake snow. I also found this string that I'm going to attach to the ornaments. Uh, it's super easy, just fit the string inside the ornament and tie it. I'm going with this like glamorous slash um, cabin uh, style with the wood and then the glitter and the white. 
um, just measure where you're gonna cut the string you want it to hang all at the same size go ahead and cut the string I'm using my crazy glue and putting it in the corner top corner of the box and I'm just gonna attach the string to it after that this is crazy glue so you're gonna have to really hold down and let it dry or else it will fall apart if you have hot glue it might be a little easier the only thing I do prefer with the crazy glue is you don't really see it as much as you would see hot glue so I'm just adding a little bit more and I'm gonna let it sit there for a while once they're all dry, take your white glue and attach all of the boxes together like so. Uh, just hold it. This one's definitely going to need to dry. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Add your glue and then attach it together. Yeah, just make sure it fully dries before you move it or do anything with it. So I'm gonna add fake snow to the top. Since I found kind of like pointy boxes, I find they look like little houses. So I said, why not add like snow and white to the top? It matches the ornaments as well and I think it really adds something to the whole look. I also added um, the acorns, the silver, silver acorns at the corners to really bring the whole um, table setting, not table setting, but centerpiece to life. This is really nice. It really has like a contrast of the brown wood and then the like glitter ornaments. If you want the wood to be darker, you can use coffee just to stain the wood. It's actually super easy, but I didn't really mind the light color of the wood. Go ahead and clean up and make sure it all looks like it's together. Use your scissors. Just fix it up a little bit this is a super easy DIY and if you're gonna have white and silver theme at your table this is a perfect centerpiece glamour slash rustic was the words I was looking for all right a really cute idea to go with the ornament theme is find little tiny ornaments from the dollar store again go ahead and take the string that comes with the ornaments put it through the ornaments super easy and then just go ahead and tie it around uh, your wine glass or your champagne glasses you can either tie it to the top or tie it to the bottom these um, ornaments kind of wanted to slide down but it's cute at the bottom as well. This is great because you can also identify people's glasses. So somebody can have full glitter, someone can have a snowflake, someone can have silver. Go ahead and cut the extra string and voila, your cups are done. Just add this to every single wine glass. These are the items we'll be using for this decoration idea. We're going to start with placing five packs of gold branches inside the jar. Side note, I definitely recommend taking the label off the jar before you start. I learned the hard way and now I'll remember for the next time. <laughs> all right, we're almost done placing all the branches and look at the final look. It looks amazing. So we're going to add some glam to the piece. So we're going to add these beautiful gold artificial leaves. Just we're going to wrap it all around the jar. And just make sure you hide the stem as much as you can. And there you go. All done with that. We're going to take the clear rope and just measure how long we want the candle holders to be. We'll be hanging the candle holders different lengths. So there's no specific length you have to cut it. You could really just do one long, one short. It uh, doesn't really matter because it's still gonna look great. Now we'll be putting the clear string through the hook of the candle holder. All right, now it's time to tie the candle holder to our centerpiece. I'm doing three knots for each candle holder and I'm placing them all different heights on the centerpiece. I do recommend buying more candle holders than you're planning to put on just because accidents do happen and tying knots with my long nails didn't help the situation. <laughs> so we decided to bring the hot glue gun out so we could just hot glue the candle holders to the branch. After hot gluing all the candle holders, we're just going to cut all the leftover string. Now it's time to turn on the fake candles and add them to the candle holders. The candles fit perfectly so they slide right in and look how great this is coming together. 
and we are done i love the final look wow and guess what you could even turn off the lights and look how gorgeous this looks For our snowman globe balls, you're going to need these fish bowls. I got three. I also found a little snowman, a little tree, some acorns, and some glittery stuff. Also some fake snow. Go ahead and outline the bottom of, that you're going to use for the snow globe and cut it out. Get your fake snow and measure it to the snow to the bottom part and then cut that out as well. Alright, go ahead and fit it on top of the bottom. You want it to look like snow. You can glue it down as well. Go ahead and glue down any figurine that you found. Again, it is crazy glue, so you're going to have to hold it down so that, until it dries. So I found these little glittery balls. They're great because you don't even have to glue them. Just bend it and put it through the legs or play around with it, whichever figurine you're using, I'm sure it'll, it will work. I'm gonna do the same thing behind uh, the polar bear so that it looks good from every angle. Again, these are really cool because you could like move around the balls and stuff. Now put your first fishbowl on top and fit all the snow inside so none of it is sticking out. For the second level, I just added snow onto the top of the snow globe. I went ahead and took my acorns and glued them onto the snow. Again, you have to hold it down to make sure it stays. I'm also going to add uh, little diamonds onto this level just to make it different from the sparkly balls. You're going to have to cut around the snow so that, again, it fits into the next globe that's going to go on top of it. So there actually is an easier way to do this and I put this in the corner here. You put them the other way and fit the figurines inside of the bowl and pile them on top that way. My figurines were a little bit too large so I had to do it this way but it's actually easier to do it the other way. Now I am gluing my next figurine onto the next level. I'm taking my balls and putting them with this figurine just through the trees. I'm gonna do that on both sides again and move around the balls to make it look cute. Now take your next fish bowl, put them on top. You can glue all of these together just to make it more sturdy if you're doing it this way. If you have them turned over the other way, it's a lot more sturdy. Go ahead and cut that snow. Now I'm taking snow and putting it around the bottom just to make it look cute, especially if this is a centerpiece. I took the acorns, I took the diamonds, and also the little glittery balls, and I put them around. Uh, really just play with this, have fun with it, uh, make it look nice, keep fixing it until you think it looks cute. Something that's really cute to go with is these candy cane name tag holders. So take three candy canes, fit them together, and then take anything like ribbon or string and stick them to t or tie them together. Sometimes it's hard because the candy canes are three different sizes, but it works. I found these name tags at the dollar store. I'm just gonna cut the end off and write cash TV on it. These are really, really cute at the table. For this centerpiece, it's gonna be very short and sweet. Make sure you have a bunch of trees and fake snow. Now we're just gonna rearrange the trees and play around with the colored trees that we have. And just make sure you place them to the center of the table so there is room to add for plates or anything else you would like to add to the table. Now it's time to add the fake snow around the trees. It's a little hard to open, but, uh, oh, I definitely don't recommend opening it like that, but it still got the job done, right? <laughs> Continue adding the snow all around and don't be shy with it. Add it everywhere. I like that it's making the centerpiece look even bigger. 
all right we are all done and i'm loving all these trees together it's beautiful All right, time to work on these candle holders. So I found all these three vases at the dollar store. I got um, two different sizes, one large and two small. Go ahead and find some pretty ensembles <laughs> um, that you can work with. I found some candles and get you some garland as well. All right, so go ahead and take your first piece. Go ahead and cut the bottom because it's kind of long. It is kind of hard to cut. Just use the scissors, use your hands, twist it a little bit. It does come apart. Go ahead and put it inside of the smaller vase. Fit all the leaves in. Also, like make sure it looks good from every angle. You want this centerpiece to look beautiful. Uh, put it down on the ground, on the table. Um, these leaves keep wanting to come out, but we'll put them back in. You're gonna do the exact same thing for the two small ones. These two are gonna be identical. For the larger one, I found uh, this little ball thing. I'm gonna add it to the same uh, thing that we put in the small ones. Go ahead and fit it into the larger vase, fix the leaves, put it down, make sure it looks good from all angles, the exact same thing. You can also do this with wine glasses or champagne glasses, which will save you money since everybody has wine glasses and champagne glasses. Go ahead and take your candles and put them on top of the vases. Your candles should all be the same size even though some of the vases are smaller. So I'm gonna take my garland and fit it around. This kind of brings out what's inside of the vases. Play with it until you think it looks cute. And voila, this is such an easy DIY and it looks so beautiful. I went ahead and lit my candle so that you guys can see how it looks like. One of the most easy things to add to your table is this little cutlery holder. Go ahead and find some small stockings from the dollar store. Cut off the little hangy part <laughs> and take your stocking, take your cutlery and fit it in. Literally, that's it. And if you do this to every place setting, your table will look so cute. It's such a simple add-on. I love it. All right, I grabbed a plate here so that you can see the contrast. Look how cute it looks and simple on the plate. Imagine this on every plate around the table. It's so cute and simple. I love it. Thank you so much for watching our video. We had a great time decorating. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.